nothing like a good cup of joe and a little drama. I want to thank everyone who has watched my video and who's commented on it. I appreciate all your words, <clears throat> the good ones, the bad ones. I appreciate them all, which proves my point. I wrote some things down so I wouldn't forget. So since my mouth is open, let me go ahead and, and spill it out. So I'm a, if y'all are pissed off, let me piss off a little bit more, okay? The top, the first one I want to talk about that I ain't, that's, uh, mind y'all, I ain't never talked about my views on all these types of things. However, I'm mad and I'm tired of being quiet and I'm tired of this shit. You would think if you're Christian or you, you know, follow Jesus in the Bible, you will know that if you look around, looks like the world's about to end. It's so much stuff that scares the shit out of me about what's going on. Makes me fucked up. You know, our days are numbered. You know, that number's coming up, you know, in less than 80 years. I want to say all these lives matters and all this other shit. The only lives to me matter are Christian lives and weed smokers lives. Okay. If you are finding a higher power to get some peace and to get an understanding, and if you need any type of medicine or anything like that to make you peaceful, do that. And for those of you who don't want peace, who want ruckus, got some for you. One thing I want to talk about is all this shit going on with the trans people, um, the trans women, which were born men. <clears throat> you calling us cis women? Um, I had to go look that shit up. Not okay. When we do gender reveals, okay, because you were born a girl or born a boy. Your sexual preference, what you choose to do in your bed, that's your business. Keep it in your bed. You don't hear, you know so much negativity if you're not trying to get attention okay we are the gatekeepers of our wombs we are the gatekeepers of our periods i'm proud to have boobs so big and sometimes you get a bowl right there because you got big old boobs and you have to put like something on it so it can get out and big titty problems for women or how we um get an attitude three days before our period and as soon as our period comes oh i knew i was gonna start or oh i'm, I'm, I'm gonna start my period because i'm being a bitch When I had a miscarriage and lost my daughter, who's 27 years old now, I did not want a man doctor. I wanted a woman doctor with the same organs I had. I don't care about you same gender lovings and wanting to be with, with each other. That's you. I'm not going to go on that. Just don't ask me my opinion because then I'll have to say I love you and I love love. But then, too, being a Christ follower, I'm going to have to tell you what the Bible says. You know, um... And I'm not, again, this is not a backlash on anybody. Just the people who want to come into my comments and talk shit, I'm answering your questions, okay? How do I feel about what's going on in the trans community? <clears throat> I think that, to answer your question, I think that, I think it's gross. We let you, back in the day, you know, all the little boys used to be called sissies, used to be called packages, used to be called, you know, pawns and stuff, you know. And we would protect our friends. Don't be calling him that. Don't you do that. You know, don't you ever do that. You know, to our homegirls that look like boys. So that's our brother. And um, we, we women, all the women of every color, of every color, accepted in some form or some fashion, your family members or your friends in their same gender loving. And we didn't complain about it. Right. So giving you a mouth to speak and some comfortability allows you to damn a whole what do you even call us? A whole thing of, uh, you make a thing about natural born women? How dare you spit in God's face like that? I just don't like that shit, you know? And it's like, again, I'm a woman. I was born a girl and I have girl issues, you know? Some I love and some I hate, but nonetheless, I love being a woman, you know? And if I were a man, I love being a man. I don't tell men who are raising their kids Happy Mother's Day. You have a day, it's called Happy Father's Day, you know? And nothing against, again, the LGBT and the rest of the alphabet, you know, I, I'm not going to mess it up and be disrespectful. However, don't come, don't be disrespecting women. That's disrespecting God. And you're already teetering. You know, and it's like people are just tired of the bullshit. People are tired of the anger, the hate, the misgiving information. You don't educate shit. You're just so quick to pop off. 
Quit trying to pop off. Quit trying to be mad and listen to what people are saying. Not everybody is angry. It's you that's inciting the riots. It's you that's being a bigot. It's you that's being the problem. And all of you that want attention and then you throw rocks and hide your hands and then you cry about it, cut the shit out. You wanted to, like the people of of the LGBTQ community, you wanted so bad to have a voice and to be heard, and to be given a safe place. And once you're given that, look at what you did with that safe place we women gave you. Because if you look, it's always women telling our husbands and our brothers and our sons, no, don't be mean, you know, to people that are, you know, transgender or da-da-da. You know, God made them. However, what they're figuring out is what they're figuring out, you know. I had a girlfriend when I was in my 20s. I was molested by my uncle. I was afraid of men. They hurt me. Until one made me realize it's okay to be feminine and it's okay to be a woman. I thank a man for that. I don't want any confusion. I don't want you thinking I'm going one way or another. This is my channel. I have enough followers and enough watched hours to get monetized. I don't want to because then I can't say my opinion. This ain't a channel for everybody to, oh, I want to say things so I can be popular too. No. No. I don't want to be popular. My channel didn't have to go to 100 million or no shit like that. Subscribers, I never ask y'all to subscribe. What I do ask you to do is be respectful. I just want to give my opinion. This is my opinion of what I see going on. It's enough, you know, that I have to explain to my son why this middle linebacker has hair weave and makeup prettier than mine but still wear a mustache. He was four when I first had started to explain. Now he's about to be 17. So again... You know, it's a lot. It's so much to have to say and so much that you have to deal with within your own mind. Individually, as a person of any race, some of us got some childhood traumas. Some of us got people who don't treat us right. We got some things that we know going on with us that don't let us treat some people right. But we're dealing with that. And then we step outside into the real world and we have to question the words that we say and the alphabets we say and all this other shit. I'm a Christian. I cuss a lot and I smoke weed. I self-medicate because I don't believe in medications making me all sad and laying on the couch and sleepy when I can just laugh and giggle and take my son to the fucking circus or the fair or to the park or walk him around somewhere fun. Don't call me a cis woman. I am a woman. God bless me with being able to be a mother and a healer and a nurturer. If you are that way in gentle spirit, be a gentle spirited person. Don't mock women. You don't understand what we had to do to get through this shit. You know, understand what I'm trying to say? It's our right. It's our right of passage. It's our right of birth. God made us who we were and gave us jobs to do accordingly. Watch your mouth. Because none of my friends that are gay or trans would ever, ever diss women. And a man taught me how to do my makeup. Taught me to be fierce. But the one thing you didn't do is step on my motherfucking womb. Okay? Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Some of y'all, again, are going to be pissed off. I don't give a shit. I'm not racist. Don't come on my shit with that shit. I am for right, and I am for real. So many of those good old boys helped me and my whole family, and vice versa, and all over the community, and all over the world, we help each other. The South, baby, we stick together. Small towns, we stick together. We don't play for that shit. And we take care of our own. Every skin color. We take care of our own. Visit a small town. Take a week. Go get an Airbnb. Get to know people. Stay a month. Bet you'll be thinking different. And again, quit trying to incite bullshit and riots. I don't care about your opinion. That's why I'm not monetized. And again, go research what it takes to get monetized. And go look at my my viewers, subscribers, and my watched hours. I choose not to. This is me giving my opinion. If you don't like it, watch another video. Until then, I love y'all. Thank you for everyone giving me your comments. Some of the good old boys in here commenting, the good old girls, and just the Christian, the non-Christians, just everybody. Thank you for watching my channel and hearing what I have to say. I really appreciate it. I'm not trying to be a fan favorite. I'm just trying to be say what I say on the right of real. So if one day I die and my grandbabies watch my video, they'll understand their grandmama and what she felt like and what she stood for. I love you. Always take care of you. Let's talk about love.